This is Get Right Fitness Man Lucky. And I'm going to show you how to get right. That's what I'm going to do. So don't want to waste your time. This video today right here is going to be a very thorough breakdown on how to make a chain gang style water bag. With this one tool, with this one implement, you are going to be able to get in the best shape of your life. Just follow, like, subscribe, and I'm going to get you right. Promise you that. Promise you. All right, the big day is here. It's about time to begin to get right, right, right. So these are the supplies. We have the pillowcases, the net bags, and the trash bags. This is all you really need. And a couple of strings, and you're good to go. I'm going to show you how you do this, how you put it all together. It's going to be Thomas Carp training. I'm a detail-oriented person, so for your strings, you want to separate them out. Then you're going to want to burn the little ends so you don't have to worry about them all tangling up and being a pain. Just a little touch and you're good to go. Tie them back up. For dealing with the trash bags, pro tip is, is you want to leave all the air out of them. Then you fold them like so, give them a couple of twirls, twists them up, tie it up nice and tight, put your knots in. Then you take the two bags and you stick them together. It works best if you put your bags and pillowcases in a sink and then start filling it with water. Now remember it is roughly eight pounds per gallon so you just work with that mathematics two gallons 16 pounds so on so on all right now you tie off your inner bag then you let all the air out tie off your outer bag then you go to wrapping it up as tight as you can in the pillowcase as you can see right here tie it off down low with a string you want to keep it very tight always make everything very tight all right we're cooking with steam here's what you want to do you want to take your net bag and you're going to want to attach two strings in to the seams like how you see I'm doing here you tie these guys off and you leave them as kind of like little tag ears because what you're going to want to do with these, well, you'll be seeing it as we come up. It helps you uh, tighten up secure and lock down your handle. So that way you'll have a nice tight fitting handle. Without these, you can just get sloppy loose and nobody wants a sloppy loose bag. Here we have them. Pull up the strings, pull everything up, and we get to twisting. Again, you want to twist it all real tight, tighten it down. The tighter you can get it, the better. This, of course, works way easier with two people, but you know, you get the hang of it. This is water, you can do the same thing with dirt, sand, gravel, whatever. All right, here's the pulling it tight across and lining it up. So what you're gonna see is these two end strings from the actual net bag themselves. You stretch it down real tight so it kind of like digs in and then you slide it through the net bag and then pull it across tight together so again this locks your handle into place
nice and tight and of course two people definitely makes this easier couple good knots now those little tag in guys I was talking about this is where you want to feed them through and tighten them both up take your little loose lines Kind of wrap them up, bunch them up, so you can tuck them in so you don't have them slinging and flying all around while you're hitting your workout. Just get stuff out of the way, get it nice. And you know, this is one method to do this. This is a method where it's a lot more stable and a lot more put together. You could also like sling these together real fast, where you could like if you're at the beach, just you know, throw it together quick, get a fast workout, dump it out, keep trucking. But if you want to like make it where like you're at a hotel or something like that, this is, this is a good way to do it. Or if you're going to put them up at the foot into the bedroom to hit some workouts in the early morning. All right, so we've got the handle tight. We've got everything tied off. Now is when we're going to come in with those added strings. What this is going to do is this really locks the handle in. Otherwise, your handle will just like flip out to the side and it's a disaster so this is this is a pro tip right here you gotta get it right tighten up a little ways bam here we go look at that beautiful get your lines tucked up Now we go ahead and we're going to do that same thing with that other line that we have right here. Shoe string, string, whatever. There we go. You see that? This baby is ready to rock and roll. Now, continue following me. Watch, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. I'm going to show you how to work this thing and get right. You're going to see how to do all the exercises, all the workouts. I'm going to show you it all.